What is up, guys? Madacaster here, and we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with our beautiful, beautiful Mercury here. I just love looking at this thing. It is so nice. So nice. And then I love looking at this. This is, what, this is what's making this decision hard. We need to send one of these to the car park or the parking garage. So that way we can make room for our next project, which we'll be doing today. And we'll also be doing a little customization of the shop here. Make it look a little bit nicer. But, man, it's hard to choose which one should leave and go get stored in the parking area. For the time being, I just love that Mercury and the way it looks. So, the DeLorean, you're going to the parking garage. We loved you, but you gotta go. Gotta make room, and you get to move. I mean, we could put it to te te technically, <laughs> if I could talk today, we could put it uh, over on a lift or something. But I just like a clean, simple shop. I don't, you know, I just don't want clutter. Too many cars. I guess too many cars isn't a bad thing. I guess we could have put the DeLorean here. Actually, I'm kind of thinking we should put the DeLorean <laughs> over here. I just love looking at it. That's what we're going to do. Guys, I am indecisive today as usual. Let's go get that DeLorean back. So now you get to see my little car hoard that I have here. So I found this old Jeep, which is awesome. Uh, let's get some info on it. It is from the DLC pack from the Jeep pack. Jeep Willis, Willis Military. So it's got that cool four cylinder in it. I'm looking forward to doing this one soon because we do have the off-road track got this awesome dodge charger that yeah that that's just too good that was i i found it somewhere i don't remember now it was a long time ago and couldn't pass it up because i think these go in order and when i placed them in here so that was the first one i found and i found this this is some kind of crazy what was this called a holden efijy 2005 this is a very interesting car. Let me see what... Yeah, there's no swap options, but it has a very good engine. A V8 supercharged V8. And it's all in there. It is a wild car for sure. And if I remember the trunk area... Yeah, like big old Rockford Fosgate amps in it. This is going to be an interesting car to build. It's also right-hand drive, which is really cool. But yeah... This, uh, this will be a project for another day. This was a really cool find over here. I love these. This is the Sakura GT20. This is basically based off the Toyota 2000. That, that was Toyota's like first like super sports car type thing. It is just awesome. And yeah, it's been waiting for a day to get worked on we got a straight six in here which is just fantastic fits the era looks good really dig it and here we are with our delorean that we're gonna put right back in the shop because we can't can't just not have this in our shop right i mean look at it it's so good okay let's move you to the garage if you'd really like me to do one of these cars let me know the one that gets the most uh the one that gets the most comments wins and then we'll we'll do that one up here on the channel how about that okay we're back delorean you can go car lifter three i think it is yeah move car lifter three because i never use that i never hardly even ever go over there unless i'm grabbing the welder we'll just keep you over here it's nice having you here didn't like it when you were gone okay guys let's find oh yeah let's uh customize our garage a little bit right been meaning to do this for a while. I get quite a bit of options for floors, which I don't want to go too fancy. That's a lot of blue. That's a lot of greenish. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's really neat. I haven't gone through this yet. There's a lot of options here. I prefer something a little more, I don't know, just laid back. A little more simple. Nothing, oh, the wood. That's kind of cool, actually. I have to admit. 20. So that's 20 options there. I'm kind of drawn to the wood. I know that sounds so wrong being in a garage. 
Not this. This is too big. This is too kind of like cowboy movie type. That's classy. That is quite nice. But it is a garage. Can't be too fancy, right? That's that's really cool too because the checkered pattern. Let's do that. Let's do that one. Okay. That is applied, right? Floor B, which I don't know where floor B is. What was floor A? We chose option seven. Oh, I can kind of see it. It's right around the drainage grates. Why would that? Yeah, I can see it changing now. Set. Well, then let's just go with seven and make it match. Wall B. Wall B. Oh, there's there's a wood option that is very classy. The brick is cool. I really like the brick. Oh, the core that uh corrugated steel. What do you call that? I think that's gonna have to be the winner. Yeah. Yep, out of all those. Definitely. Apply. Wall C. I just want the corget. Oh, that wood, though. It, it has a good contrast, you know what I mean? I almost think the wood. But let's see all of them. Let's see all of them. We got nine, ten. That looks terrible. And then back to zero. That's not horrible. Painted. I really dig the wood. Let's go with the wood. Option zero is yellowish, bluish, blue, red. Well, let's go with red so it looks expensive, you know, snap on, right? <laughs> Gotta. Oh yeah. This is this is looking like a, a very professional shop here now. I am happy with that. Man, just looking at that Mercury. It looks so good. Speaking of, let's go find a car to work on. We're not a professional shop unless we have something to work on, right? I'm wondering should we let's do a barn find. It's been a while. Let's see what we can find in a bar. Okay, we've landed in here, and what do we have here? We've got a Mach 1, looks like. Uh, overview mode. Oh, no, that's someone. This. See, it's been long enough. I forgot how to do that. Yeah, it's a Ford Mustang Mach 1. Several swap options. They want 26978 for it. Looks in pretty rough shape, but it's a Mach 1. You can't really go wrong with that. Looks like, what, we have an F100, or is this a... What do we got here? A Smith 1500XL. Looks like a Ford F100 to me. Let's get actually check out the info. A lot of swap options. 28,003. Well, for the same, around the same amount of money, the Mach 1's a no-brainer, right? The price is not great. Like again, it's 26,978. And it needs a lot. You can tell that much for sure. I mean, I hate to pass up on a Mach 1, but we've <laughs> I've kept the last two cars I've built, the DeLorean and the uh, the Mercury. So the profit margin, again, I think they're asking a little too much for this versus what we be able to get out of it. So we're going to move on. On to our next barn. Let's take one from all the way down at the bottom of the map. Let's see what that's got for us in here. Alrighty, here we go. What do we got in here? We have another slammed Merc. That's missing a lot more stuff than ours was, but that, that 38, we paid, we paid just over 40. So now I don't feel so bad about the money we paid for the last Mercury. This is another one. Not bad. We just did one though. So we'll let this one go, especially at the price that they're asking for it. Oh my God. We have, a <laughs> look at this. This is a gasser wagon with a supercharged V8. Oh my. This is a mega score. Plymouth Valer Wagon Dragster. And it comes with a V8 two carb overhead valve supercharged. Factory engine power, 755. Okay. Wow. That is amazing. Incredible. Okay, what do we have over here? A 57 Chevy Bel Air. That is something that you guys have requested 
several have requested. V8 one carb overhead valve, no swap options. It is a low rider, so it is. Oh, they only want nine thousand. Oh, that pump's cool. Dig that. But I'm really digging this too. It needs a lot, a lot of work. Like a lot of work. Like this needs pretty much everything. I get why the price is what it is. 9,746. Frame conditions 93%, interior conditions 100%. Okay. That's coming home with us, right there. Let's put that... Where should we put this? Let's put it in the car parking. Okay. Because I'm thinking this... Is there anything else in here? There's another little area. Can we get it back here? Okay, there's no other car back here. That's good to know. Oh, man. This is absolute... How much do they want for this? 18,800. We can... We can work with this. Current color is pink. Factory color is pink. I don't care. We're buying it. Bought two cars. I had a feeling about going down to the lower right of the, the barn find map. You're going to the garage, darling. We're going to get started on you. Okay, so here we oh, there. I love everything about this. This is probably not going to be a super popular video on my channel just because it's a wagon. A gasser wagon dragster type thing, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll tick the niche boxes enough to where this is going to be a good video for me. God, Plymouth Volare wagon dragster with the gasser setup, which uh, for those who may not know, the gasser type setup is where the, the front end is higher than the rear. The whole idea of doing that was to for weight transfer when they launch off the line at the drag strip. The weight is transferred where it needs to go, which is this big old thing back here, a pair of these big old things back here, and launch it off into, uh, hopefully, really good uh, quarter mile or eighth mile times. And man, this thing, it's got a bona fide supercharged V8, which a lot of the gasser builds these days, you see that people try to take on the gasser build. They get all this looking right, and then, you know, it's just like a 350 Chevy four barrel holly type thing under the hood but nope that's got a supercharger so we're gonna take this thing and i just want to stand back and look at it look at that and see this is another car i think when it's done i'm not gonna want to get rid of i'm seeing a problem here a trend that will not do too well for our money because we we are down to 173,531. while we're at it let's go check out that uh 57 chevy bel air we bought in our parking garage let's go and here we are and here she is it's got gold i did not notice that <laughs> that is interesting don't know if i'm on board with that but maybe some of you are should we punt this thing or should we build it out with all the gold trim i'm sure we could play replace the gold trim with stainless but or chrome but it sits, it's got a good stance, it sits right. I guess I'm just not feeling the gold. But it's cool. It's cool nonetheless. It's a two-door 57 Chevy. Bel Air. Check out the interior. Yeah, it's missing just about everything. Hence why it was so cheap. That engine doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's got a 572. Wow. I don't know, should we should we punt this thing and look for a different Bel Air to build? You guys let me know in the comments. And we'll 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 see what we do with that. Alrighty, back to our date to the dance. Let's put you car lifter A. Man. I'm just I I I I'm over the moon about this thing. So it looks like it's mostly complete. I wonder if it'll run. Let's check the oil. Where is the dipstick? Right there. Yeah, there's no oil in it. We could try putting oil in it and take a look. Let's see if everything's connected underneath. We do have a gearbox, a drive shaft. Let's stick some oil in it. No oil pan. Cannot do this. Well, 
You'd have thought that was something I would have noticed when I was under there. Let's take a closer look. You guys probably saw it. I missed it. Now, sure enough, it's missing. Look at these slicks back here. That is a lot of meat. This thing has to be tubbed like crazy. I'm curious how that's addressed in the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way tubbed. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. All right, where to begin on this beautiful, beautiful beast? I just... I'm over the moon about this car, guys. I really... I love it. It is absolutely fantastic. I guess we'll get the welder out and repair... Anything that needs repaired up under there. Yes. Oh, it's already looking a lot better. It's uh, so pink though. So pink. I'm gonna be very excited to paint this car. There's no doubt about that. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess just get to the engine. Get that out of there. Engine hoist over here. Engine crane, I should say. Car lifter A. All right. Pull out engine. Put that in. That thing is huge. Big old blown V8. Missing in a, a valve cover here. And a rocker. Man, who would neglect this car? Just a shame. Alright, let's get this thing torn down. Reach way up here. <laughs> get the air scoop off. We're definitely building this thing out with the uh, performance part. No doubt about that. Big old supercharger. Let's get the belt off. I guess we need to remove that belt first. Or the fan first. That makes sense, doesn't it? I don't think I've done a supercharged engine yet. I think this is my first one. It's exciting. Get the wires off. Oh, come on. There we go. Strip your cap. Oh, we got the little clips. We're missing one clip, aren't we? Get you out of there. Get the rotor out. And the distributor can come out with it. Coil. Water pump pulley. Yeah, let's get the front of this engine pulled apart. Disassembled. I am so excited for this car. I can't wait to take it down the speed track. And you know, it's, it's kind of back in my mind. This thing's going to end up so cool because I, I love wagons and I love weird cars. Uh, but I'm not going to want to get rid of it either. I'm going to end up bankrupt in this game. It's not going to help anything. Let's pull apart the side of the engine valve cover. Get you out of there. On to the rockers. Get these spark plugs out of the way. Then we'll move on to the headers. Header, I should say. Then I think we'll be able to remove, yep, remove the head. And while we're over here, let's get that fuel filter out of the way. On to the other side. Alright, time to flip this thing over. Get to the pistons. And the rod ends and all that good stuff. Get the filter out of here. Okay, that's completely torn down and ready for repair. Alrighty. Just gonna throw everything we got at it. Because what we don't need, because we are going to use some performance part stuff, we can just sell off. Let's see what we were able to fix. Not the starter for sure. Alright, let's make sure our parts notes are uh, clear. Yep, and they are. Put together a shopping list. Need a pair of those. 
Oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Starter. Throwout bearing. Clutch pressure plate. Flywheel. Air scoop. We don't, we're going to buy the performance versions of these. Uh, the carburetor four barrel, because we're going to get the performance version. Serpentine belt A? Serpentine belt. I'm glad we were able to fix the uh, supercharger. I'll repair it. Uh, that's good. The wires we're going to get. I'm just going to make a note, because I know we need another clip for that. All right, let's, we got everything. Let's clear our parts notes. Get that ready for the rest of the car. And let's build this engine out. I think I got everything. Mount our block. And since it's upside down, we'll just go, we'll start here. Crankshaft. Get you in. Get you cinched down here. Beautiful. Now we gotta get some pistons put together. These are the performance pistons. Alright, got that on there. Let's get our oil pan on. I did buy the right one. How about that? I actually did something right. Good to know. And get our oil filter. Boom. Get you on there. And let's rotate the engine. Bump. Bump. Perfect. And let's build out. Let's build out the front of the engine first. Why not? Get our performance camshaft in there. Get cam gear. Get our timing chain put in place. Go ahead and put our fuel filter on here. Why not? Performance fuel filter, nonetheless. Chat timing cover on here. Put on our water pump. Guess I should have checked if there was a performance water pump. Oh well. We're gonna be making a bunch of power. That much I know. It's gonna be fun. Alternator. Got a performance coil here. Might as well build out our ignition unit here. Get our rotor on. Oh, that's not the rotor I wanted. Get you out of there. Performance rotor, that one. I remembered to buy the clip. How about that? And then put on our serpentine belt B. And we'll need the supercharger for the rest of it. Let's build out this side of the engine. Get the head on. Bolt you down. I'm so excited for this engine, guys. I'm so excited for this car. It'll be cool to see what liveries there are for the station wagon when we go to paint it. We could do something wild like a gasser would do. Kind of wild, like metal flake craziness. We'll see. Get these push rods installed. Nice thing about it being a simulator, we don't have to set any valve lash or anything like that. Kind of neat. <laughs> if you've ever set valve lash in real life, you know how how tedious that is. And if you haven't, no big deal. You're not you're not missing out. Put the engine head cover on. Valve cover, I call it. They call it engine head cover. To each their own. Tomato, tomato, right? All right, that's this side of the engine built out. Go. 
you get yourself right on there. We get to build the intake portion of this engine. Let's throw the wires on. Just because I want to see that red. Beautiful. Get this intake bolted down. And we are about ready for the supercharger. Uh, the star of the show right here. Our performance four barrel carburetors. They didn't have a performance air filter for this, which is crazy to me. It's a supercharger V8. Well, I mean, for strips, you probably wouldn't even run these. So I had to buy just the regular ones because that's all they had and get you on there. Look at that cherry on top. Throw on our serpentine belt, supercharger drive belt. And we got this guy right here. Team belt A. And that. Well, oh, plus this fan. Now I can say it. That is our beautiful supercharged V8. Ready to drop it in our Valera wagon. Ah. Look at it. All its glory. Alright, before we do that, I'm gonna take care of engine bay stuff. Let's get the uh, brake master cylinder off of here. Get you out. And get a cooling system and a battery out of here. That way we can get that taken care of, fixed up. And I think that's, yeah, this is a really well modeled engine bay. Nicely done, even got the wiper motor and everything. What is this, engine cover? Oh, take that out. Nice, all right, let's repair what we can. Don't think we can repair batteries. Don't believe that's a thing. And I believe that's all we need there. Let's get our engine installed. Take it right off the stand by hand and put it on the engine crane. Install. Put you back to where you were before I forget, because sometimes I do. Let's get some oil in there. All right. That just looks so nice nestled in there like that. Up she goes. I'm gonna get on some suspension stuff. I love these skinny little tires, these little drag tires in the front. So good. Let's see what we're working with under here. Do you have a disc brake set up? Brake pads out of here, brake disc ventilated. Wheel hub cap. Doesn't look like anything's really missing under here, so that's nice. Car was in pretty rough shape, pretty neglected, I would say. Look how this uh, this whole suspension setup's done here for the drag strip. This is so cool. Haven't seen a car like this yet. Haven't haven't done up a dragster yet. This is this is just as entertaining for me as it is for you guys. Hopefully, it's entertaining for you guys. Hey, let me know in the comments. How about that? That's a good idea, right? Get that steering knuckle off of there. And that's that side torn down. Okay, now we just gotta get to the rubber bushings here. And we can pull out this. Guy right here, the cross member. Okay. That is that. This is how I usually find Valeres in real life. Because the front ends on a Valere make for a really good hot rod setup. Well, that's typically how you find them. Okay, got everything we need. Let us assemble our front end here. Throw in our front shock absorber. Knuckle cover. Lower suspension arm. I believe I got enough rubber bushings. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Over to here, put our sway bar in. All nice and new. Front end link. Then we can probably take care of our... Oh, we should get this cross member in. That would be good. River bushing. Oh, yeah. Put a bolt in it. 
Okay, then we can put our steering rack in, which was awesome that we were able to repair that because those are getting a little bit pricey. Put that on there. Okay, that looks like that is built out. I'm so not used to not having an upper control arm. That is wild. But hey, dragster rules, right? Fill hub cap. Brake disc ventilated. Brake pads. Brake caliper. Cinch that down and that should be that sign built out. Okay, look at these meats. I can't get over these big old slicks back here. It looks so good. Fuel tank, let's get you out of here. Out of the way, and that way we can see if we can repair you too. Let's get these beefy slicks off of here. And we have a drum set up back here. How about that? Pretty traditional. Pretty traditional uh, style, probably late 60s, 70s dragster gasser style. Very cool. Very cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibes off this thing. Get that off of there. Get that plate out. Pull out our small rubber bushings. Get that leaf spring out of here. And that is that side torn down. Pretty simple on these. Get this axle in here. Start building up this rear end. Leaf spring. Put the plate on there. U-bolts. All shiny and new down here. It's looking good. Get our rubber bushings in. And housing. Pretty simple, nice little setup back here. Whatever gets the job done on these old dragsters. And our brake shoe. And then it should be just the drum. And that is everything. Well, we got this thing while we're back here working. Get that fuel tank in. And I did buy a performance fuel pump for it. And let's go ahead and take care of this exhaust. Front pipe on. I did not. They don't have a performance option for the front pipe. Interesting. They certainly do for the middle muffler, though. And rear. Okay, that is taken care of. Okay. Now, on to wheels and tires. Let's pull apart these that we have here. I'm not, I don't know if I'm crazy about these stock wheels get these pulled apart and see what we can work with now looking through all these this is definitely fits the era fits the style and it's uh, what a lot of the guys would run back then these are cool too but i think this would really this really sets it off and would fit the fit the car the way that we would like it to look okay bought our slicks it was like four thousand dollars <laughs> for the front i want to use i think these this has that cool the lettering on the side and everything definitely fits the era once again 18s the width is 135 and the profile is 85 let us put these together get the rears put together <laughs> it's so meaty. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
Does that even fit on the balancer? What does it look like on there? Oh yeah, it works. How about that? Okay, let's put our fronts together with our new five spokes here. Yeah, see, that's perfect. That is perfect gasser wheel, front wheel right there. Okay, all tires mounted and balanced. Time to get them installed on the car. I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah. Love how deep dished they are, too. Oh, that's so good. On this very pink car. <laughs> there we go. Get our little pizza cutters on here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Oops. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. I accidentally put that on there, but... Oh, that is wild. <laughs> uh, that would not drive well. There we That's the ones we want. Okay. Oh, that looks so pink. <laughs> Let's get this thing down and in the paint booth. <sighs> Just love how that sits. But we need, it needs desperately painted. We could go full gasser and go something like a crazy green metallic or something. Definitely anything but pink. Straight up black would look cool, like a flat black or something. Let's try that. Yeah, flat black's cool. Sadly, there's no liveries uh, for this. Oh wait, yeah, no, nothing. It's clickable, but there's nothing there. Well, that's kind of wild looking. That definitely gets some attention. A lot better than the metallic, I think. <laughs> that is wild. I say we go for it. It's a gasser, right? It's gotta be wild looking for the strip. Okay, let's find out what... Man, that is loud. That is a loud color, if I've ever seen one. Let's find out what it does on the dyno. Dynomometer. See what kind of power we're putting down now that we've, uh... <laughs> that is a... That is a green car. Proceed with the dyno test. Yes. Run dyno. So, factory horsepower is 546. 755 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see what we made. What kind of increase we're gonna get. 896 horsepower. 1,229 foot-pound of torque, a gain of 64% on the horsepower, and 62% on torque. This is going to be an interesting car to drive. All right, speed track. See what she does. With our Volare Wagon Dragster. This thing's going to be nuts. In fact, I don't even think it's going to go in a straight line. We shall see. That's a lot of torque. Oh, it sounds so crazy. Let's see what she does. Oh, she takes off. It does go in a straight line. It's already topped out. All right, so that's, it just topped out at 142. I mean, it took off and then it just kind of didn't do a whole lot after that. So the gearbox is geared in a really weird way. 
I wonder if this is a tunable gearbox. No custom gearbox is installed. You know what? I'm curious. Let's take this gearbox out of here and get a tunable gearbox. Throw it in there and see what this thing can really do. Because that was a letdown, in my opinion. Just topping out at 140 something miles an hour. There's a lot more in there. Starter off of here. Now it is super expensive. I went and looked. A V8 overhead valve. Oh, 1800 bucks is not bad. Some of these others though, $4,400. Okay. Get you installed. I have not done one of these yet, so this is going to be exciting. A learning experience for both of us. Get this drive shaft on. Okay. Now let's see what we can do here. Perfect. We can adjust ratios now. Okay. Let's try that. Let's do from the inside now. Bounce it off the limiter. You hear that supercharger screaming. Definitely throws you back. We're at 200 miles an hour. 212, 213. 220 miles an hour. That thing is flying. That thing needs a parachute. 220 miles per hour. I call that a success. Well, it's been real and it's been fun, but you need to go. Can't keep everything. I know. I, know. I want to, but I can't. Car value, 41,292. I think it's worth a lot more than that. I wonder if we even really made any money on this one. We'll see what we get for it. We're getting an actual sell price of 44388 That helps out a little bit. And sell it. We now have 197.63, which is a lot less than we started with, I believe. So this is this is how the financials worked out. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Even if we lost money, we had fun. That's all that matters, right? Actually, let me clear my inventory. Yeah, we're not going to get much out of this. The point is, we had fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. Hope you enjoy the new garage digs. It looks good in here. Guys, just know I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.